Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, well, I was filming earlier and well, I don't know, my the, it's, it just stopped recording randomly. I was um almost three fourths of the way. I was just started with the third quarter, and well, I mean nothing really happened as you could tell by the score here. A pretty bland and boring game with lots of turnovers, especially with me throwing a pick six. Um. It's in just the third play of the entire game. So yeah, if you enjoy, if you can enjoy this episode, please hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss another thing. It is well appreciated. Let's try to get 100 subs in the next. I don't know soon, before the end of the year. I mean, I think we can hit that easily. So yeah, um, I was supposed to post yesterday and I post tomorrow, but I kind of forgot to post yesterday, so I'm just gonna post today. Uh, yesterday. So I'm going to post today, and then I'll post again tomorrow. Um, so yeah, we're doing the main, oh, main series, geez, the seasons mode with the Colts week two against the Rams. So yeah, as you can see, the Rams are driving down the field, and I think they just scored. Wow, I, didn't even, I think it's Van Jefferson that Matthew Stafford hit. And just like that on the first play, it's a touchdown. Oh boy, this is going to be great. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right to it. Um, Cowboys Bucks, I got that correct. The Bucks won 31-29. Close game. Good job. This was a great game. Uh, next up we have the Seahawks and Colts. This was a very one-sided game. Seahawks won uh 28 to 16. It was yeah another correct for me. I got the Seahawks winning, and they won. Next up, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Philadelphia... Jeez. The Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans. I thought the Jags were going to win very barely, but of course that can't happen. They got absolutely destroyed. 37-21. This was a nasty game. Yeah, um, this is not going to be a good season for anyone in the Jacksonville organization. The Texans, if they play like this every week, this team can easily make a wild card spot. Heck, even they can even go for that four seed for the AFC South division crown. Will it happen? Probably not, though. They'll probably just they'll probably go six and eleven at this point. But yeah, good job, Texans. You got one of very few wins. And of course, that means I got this prediction wrong. Two and one. Next up we have a game which, well, could have really gone either way in my prediction. I said could go either way in my predictions, but I picked the Falcons only because I think they have a more experienced offense. And, well, they played very b poorly um, on both sides. I mean, both sides of the ball were pretty eh, but the Falcons was worst overall, and their offense was just horrific. This team could not click whatsoever. They lost 32-6. to the Eagles, I mean, yeah, they play good. The defense was needs some um, work. But considering that this offense looks really good, it's a good thing I have them on my fantasy. Otherwise, I would have probably lost. Because, I, ha you know, I had Jalen Hurts, Dallas Gobner, and Devontae Smith. I'm in seven fantasy leagues. I went 5-2 and two this week. And in my school... In my, Because I'm in high school, if you didn't know that. In my school, we have a league. And, yeah, I won. Thanks to Jalen Hurts and to Devontae Smith. So, yeah. But I picked the Falcons to win. I really should have um, checked my brain before I did that. Because that was not a good pick whatsoever. This team got blown out. This team needs to really... Ugh, this team is going to come last place from the looks of it. In this division. So that's 2-2. Two and two. That's not good. But it gets worse. Next up we have the Chargers and the football team. This is a pretty good game too. Very solid. Um, a young defense. Rising to the top. Against a young offense. Rising to the top. And ultimately the Chargers came out on top. I had the Washington football team winning. Because well, I thought they were a better team overall. At least on paper. But Ryan Fitzpatrick decided to get injured, and then things went south from there. So yeah, two and three, not good. Next up, we have the Steelers and Bills. Oh my, the Bills! 
yikes, this was the Patriots' chance to one-up on them. And, of course, they couldn't take it. I'll talk more about that later. But, yikes. You lost to the Steelers 23-16. Now, if this was maybe two or, like, three or four years ago, then, okay, yeah. That was a good Steelers team. But this is the 2021 Steelers. This is almost the same Steelers team that completely blew 2020 off of their r radar. They went from a excuse me, they went from 11 and 0 and then they went 1 and 5 down the stretch, down the end of the road. And they completely got set and they set themselves on fire and completely burned against Cleveland. And they and for that, they're kind of lucky that um that they didn't have full crowds cuz that wouldn't be too pretty. But anyways, they've came back somehow. I don't even know how. And they beat a Bills team that was pretty woeful towards the end of the game. They had a lead. They choked it. They completely choked the fourth quarter away, which included a block punt that went for a touchdown, which really put the icing on the cake there. So, yeah. um, I got that one wrong, too. Two and four. Yikes, this is not good. And this is the end of the game. I won 8-7. But I'm going to go for a touchdown. I'm going to go for a touchdown. This is it right here. If I don't get this touchdown, Carson Wentz to, Zach, to Michael Pittman, and it's incomplete. One second of the clock. Oh. All right, let's try this again. Last play to Michael Pittman Jr. It's a turnover, but the game's over. I won by a point because I don't go for... Field goals, I go for action. No, excuse me. I go for turnovers. Oh my god, why is there an ad? Why was there an ad? All right. Uh, superstitious players in your team are preparing for their pregame meal when they run out of the special height spots. Uh, send out replacement. Yeah. Why not? Ryan Kelly's injured and listed as out for six weeks. Oh my god, I didn't know this was the 49ers. All right. Dang. Alright. Joey Hunt, our new center. Uh ooh. Ooh. Devontae Smith joins us on the pra from the practice squad. Ooh, I like that. I like that. You like that? I like that. You like that? I like that. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Uh let's switch. Devontae Freeman out. Is he good enough to get out of the flex position? Probably. Yep. Is he better here? Oh, yes, definitely. All right. He'll be my receiver one. Actually, no. I want to keep Devontae Smith as receiver two because that way I always throw to the left. So, all right. That's good. This is good. All right. Well, I'm not going to play that. Um. Yikes. Only eight minutes. All right. Well, I'll just, I'll just do stuff on Ultimate Team. For now, this is my team, by the way. I've improved it a lot. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm trying to get him to level 15. Oh, I can actually do that because I was doing that in my first attempt at this video. And so let's try that. So let's do this. And I can keep talking. So we're two and four. And speaking of injuries from Ryan Kelly, we go to the San Francisco 49ers and Detroit Lions. I finally get a win. But this game was pretty ugly towards the end for the 49ers. They won 41-33, but they almost blew it. They were winning 41-17 with like five minutes left. And they completely blew the game away. Uh, Trey Lance did pretty good for his debut. And yeah, Jimmy G needs to watch his back because this kid could come in at any moment if he messes up. So he better be as good as he can. And another man who I really didn't think was it was going to happen this year at least. He needs to watch his back too after that woeful performance against. Well, I'll talk. I'll. I'm not gonna say it, but you probably know who I'm talking about. Um. Yeah. So yeah, the 49ers, 41, 33. This Lions team was. Uh, I don't know if I could shoot, if I could say they played good or played bad because, in some parts of the game, it looked like they were completely lost and didn't know what the heck they were doing. And in other parts, they looked like a Super Bowl contending team. Yeah, I don't know. This is the Detroit Lions. This reminds me of the Arizona Cardinals. 
an another very inconsistent team. So yeah. Anyways, that's three and four, right? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going three and five because the Vikings and Bengals are next. The Bengals winning twenty-seven and twenty-four in overtime. That was a great game. The Vikings, well, um, they need they should have won this game. They really should have. And yeah, I don't know. Burrow looked great. This team looks. The Bengals played pretty good. And no, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's play some arena while I talk. Let's lose some games in arena. So yeah, three and five. Next up, we have the Jets and the Panthers. Oh yes, the return of Robbie Anderson and Sam Darnold against their former team. This was well a pretty lopsided game until the end, when the Jets almost made a miraculous comeback. But because it's the Jets, and speaking of the Jets, I'm playing against Pro Daddy Fifty Five, a Jets fan, or maybe he just liked the color. I guess I don't know. And so yeah, the Panthers won nineteen fourteen, a good win for them. Panthers was pretty good, and of course they fed Christian McCaffrey like crazy because that's what they do best. And then for deep balls, of course they would hit Robbie Anderson, which also helped me win one of my leagues. Thank you, Robbie, because I had him as a flex. Next we have so that's four and five right because I picked did I I hope I picked this team. Oh uh, yes okay I did pick the Panthers to win. I'm correct. All right. Next up we have the Cardinals and Titans. This I thought would be the game of the week. This was my prediction for game of the week. I thought the Cardinals would absolutely. Well I mean I thought both teams would absolutely put up forty plus points. Like the Eagles and Falcons, but no, the Titans couldn't get working, and the Cardinals look like a, a Super Bowl contending team, which if they were consistent, they would. The problem is they're not consistent. Like my throws there, yikes. The Cardinals easily won thirty-eight to thirteen. How much of that consistency can they keep? We'll find out. Hopefully, I hope they do win. I really do. So that's another correct prediction. Every and you know, people thought I was crazy for picking the Cardinals over the Titans. You know what? It worked for me, so yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's five of five, right? One, two, three, four. Yep, five of five. Or five of ten. So five and five. Five of five record. Next up we have the Browns and Chiefs. Another game which people call me crazy for picking the Browns over Kansas City. Which if the Browns didn't choke, would have been, you know, a really good pick. But no, this is the Cleveland Browns. And despite the fact they had a really good year last year, they find a way to fumble things away. Also, I have to remember that this is week one and the Browns don't know how to win on week one. They lost 33-29. They choked this game away. Yeah, I'm a bit upset at this team. I'm 5-6. and six, And yeah, I don't know what else to say. Oh my gosh, it's fourth down. Next up, we have the Dolphins and the Patriots. Yeah, another game that made me pretty upset. I'm um, four and... S no, I'm five and seven. I had the Patriots winning. Um, The Dolphins, 17-16. And, well, I think we have a curse on us since Tom Brady left. We're known for fumbling the ball down by three or less. In big in games that we should probably win, and in this case that happened, Damian Harris was the victim. The last time that I can remember, Cam Newton was our victim, but now it's Damian Harris. So, yeah, uh, he's an inconsistent running back. Hopefully, he gets better. And yeah, and Mac Jones, he had a pretty good day. He, if he could keep playing like that, he is definitely our future quarterback. And yeah. 17-16 Dolphins win. Yikes. Not good for us, for the Patriots. And not good for my uh, prediction record, as it were. I'm currently 5-7 right now. That is not good. Next up, we have the Broncos and Giants. I return to more winning ways. The I mean, yeah, I knew the Broncos were going to win from the get-go. Even if they had Drew Locke as their quarterback. Teddy Bridgewater played amazing. Actually, this entire team played pretty good. The Giants, well, they were the Giants. They played absolutely 
Um, not horrible, but they played pretty bad. And this 93 yard, Jesus Christ. So yeah, uh, six and seven, maybe I could get a nine and seven record, eight and eight. I don't know. So yeah, the next game, speaking of, um, uh, quarterbacks getting benched, I have the Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints not played in New Orleans because of, uh, Hurricane Ida. Instead, moved to Jacksonville. Oh, man. The last time the Saints played an outdoor game at a home game outdoors was when Hurricane Katrina hit exactly 16 years ago from when Hurricane Ida hit. Yes, it was exactly, if I'm not mistaken, exactly six, six, yeah, 16 years. The day Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, 16 years later, Hurricane Ida hit. Yeah, we don't know how long the Saints will be out of the dome, but yeah, they still they played up. But whatever it is, they played amazing. Jameis, famous Jameis, was not a turnover machine whatsoever. He was, he was a player that did not know how to throw interceptions because that was his problem on Tampa. He he was a very if if interceptions did not exist. This guy would have easily won MVP. He easily would have taken... He already would have won a Super Bowl, I think. But, yeah, he has a habit of throwing interceptions. I know it's only week one, but... Yeah, he looked amazing. And as for the Packers, well, this should have been an easy win for them. And, like, the Bills, but at least the Bills, they get destroyed. This team lost 38-3. to One of the reasons why I lost in... In two... One of the reasons why... One of my two teams actually lost in fantasy because I had Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, and Mike Evans on the same team. I wanted to kill myself from that. That was the worst... Oh man. That may have been the worst performance I've seen from a team in my entire life. The defense couldn't stop anything. I mean, it's the defense. You can't help it. And I don't know why I just kicked the field goal. I, I thought it was an extra point. I'm not even paying attention. The offense was the worst thing to happen to this week. Yikes. Um, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, either he's not trying or I don't know what. But, yeah, this is not a good look for this Packers team. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say, really. Actually, this entire NFC North team was pretty bad this week. They went 0-4 whilst the AFC West and AFC... Or the NFC West and the AFC West both went 4-0, if I'm not mistaken. I have to uh, verify that at the end of this. So, yeah. I'm 5-8. and eight. I can't get a winning record. Sucks. Actually, I'm 6-8. and eight. My bad. Next up, we have the Bears and Rams. Returning to winning ways, the Rams win 34-14. This was an easy win. Matthew Stafford played like a beast. He was amazing. And, yeah. um, Easy win in front of some fans for once, thankfully. And, yeah. That's 7-8 and eight for me. Woo! And now what could have been 8-8, eight and eight, but because the Ravens don't know how to play football, how to close out games, the Raiders won 33-27 to 27 in overtime. Oh my god, this was a crazy game. This was game of the week easily. Followed by probably Browns, Chiefs, and then uh, Bengals, Vikings, or, and, or Cowboys, or Cowboys, Bucks, and then Bengals, Vikings. And then the fifth place spot, hmm... What would be the fifth? Probably, I, I don't know, really. Chargers, Washington, I guess. That would be fit five. But, yeah. Um, the Ravens had a lead. Lamar Jackson fumbled. The Ravens, the Ravens, the Raiders would then score. This game is in overtime. Then, in overtime, the Ravens hit the ball. What happened? Carl Nassib um, comes from behind, hits Lamar Jackson. He fumbles the ball. The Raiders get the ball. Derek Carr launches it out. Touchdown. Raiders win. Raider Nation on top. And the black hole, the new black hole, 
in Las Vegas. Um, yeah, again, fans. I love to see that. And yeah, this team play. They both teams play pretty good, but the Ravens just couldn't close out for their lives. And with that, my final record for the week seven and nine. Uh, I mean this. I, it's not as good as last year. Last year, I believe I went nine and seven to start at week one. So yeah. Um. In total, let's see. There was one, two, three. Four, five, six good games. Six good games. And then there was one, two, uh, three, four, five, six games that were blowouts. Or close enough to a blowout. And then there was one. Two, two games, no, three games that were, four games, excuse me, four games that were not blowouts, but they weren't good games. So, yeah. What is the game of the week? Ravens Raiders. What's the worst game of the, 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 bleh, the worst game of the week? Probably Broncos Giants. And, yeah, the, the, that's all I have to say. Uh, let me just score this real quick. I should have not gone there. Yep, all right. I'm going to regret that. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I forgot. I have, there's a 10-minute limit on this. Injuries. Oh, I love injuries so much. Jerry Judy. He was carted off the field with a high ankle sprain. He's going to be out for uh, two to four weeks. At least four weeks. Even possibly the most six. I lost. Yay, I love losing. That's going to be it for that. Um, Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, they had an MRI, and we don't know how bad it is. The Niners, Raheem, actually, I can look it up right now, because today's Wednesday, so they should have it out. Uh, what is this MRI? Oh, he's going to miss multiple weeks. Okay, that sucks. Um, Raheem Mostert out for the season. Drew Greenlaw, well, he will be out for a while. Not for a while, but eh. Jason Verrett tore his ACL. Richard Sherman might sign back with the Niners. Ooh. Um, let's see, what else? Mackay Becton, MCL sprain. What else? What else? What else? Jeff Okuda. He is, I believe, out for the season. I need to verify that real quick. But I believe Jeff Okuda is out for the season. With an Achilles injury, right? Um, I don't know. I can't find anything. But he has an Achilles injury. He's going to be out for... A minimum of a while. Uh, what else? What else? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nothing that's anything else, right? Marshawn. Oh, Marshawn Lattimore. Thumb injury. He's going to have surgery. He's going to be out for a few weeks. And yeah. And also, we have our first ejection of the season. Ronnie Harrison, safety of the Cleveland Browns, ejected against the Chiefs. I forgot to mention that. I believe it was the first quarter. I don't know. And Leo Collins, I don't know if you heard about it, but he's going to be suspended for five game, the first five games this season. And yeah, also, the Saints might have a COVID outbreak on their hands. Eight of their personnel have tested positive for COVID-19. So, and hopefully it doesn't get any bigger than that because then we might have some serious problems. And Demarcus Lawrence, well, he has a broken foot. He's going to be out for six to eight weeks. Not good at all whatsoever. And I believe that's it for week one. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you do not miss another video. And yeah, uh, we're trying to hit 100 subs. Let's hope we hit it. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Actually, let me claim this first.
Oh, we level up to level 20. Let's go. Are oh, we getting a Madden pack? Hold on. Let's open this. Char Charles Leno Jr. Offensive tackle. Okay, I've never gotten... Okay, I've never gotten a rare from a pack like that. Can I fit him into my team? Offensive... Ooh. Ugh. Alright, well, now I'm gonna end it. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.